is Dundee from VoterWork.com. We're at ATI's booth at uh, PAX East 2010, and we're checking out what they have new this year. So you're looking at uh, the ATI Ifinity technology. Right here, you're looking at a six screen, basically a single graphics card output to uh, six independent monitors. Okay. So this is our Ifinity 6 card. But the nice thing is every single one of the Radeon 5000 series actually has the Ifinity technology. So you can do up to three screens on every single one of those. Everywhere okay. from 79 bucks all the way up to $400. Really? Yeah, they all have that capability. Depends on how much sort of horsepower you want under the hood. True. But they'll all connect so you can have a, a whole different way of playing games. Okay. Now you said um, basically it covers the whole range from the yeah. from the lowest card to the highest card. Everything in the 5000 series, you bet. Okay. That is very, very nice. Now, what about uh, incorporation of 3D technology? Sure. So what we announced at the Game Developers Conference just about two weeks ago is we've started uh, what's called the uh, Open Stereo 3D Initiative. And it's a way for a lot of different people that are building glasses, monitors, uh, software to all work together to create an open standard instead of getting locked into one solution, mm -hmm. opening it up. Because we feel like if we can work to bring the price down yeah. and give more people access to the technology, that's going to open up the, the installed base so that the big publishers say, hey, look, we're going to make great 3D content. Sure. Content's really the king. I mean, it really is. So we want to see the, the uh, 3D Blu-ray uh, standard be able to produce a lot of content there. Yeah. And more than just two or three uh, games, we want to see a ton of games take advantage of the 3D technology. Now, what do you guys have on the uh, portable end of with uh, laptops, uh, netbooks? Sure. Well, we've got like uh, DirectX 11 is available in our uh, in our notebook uh, platforms, and that's something that our competitors haven't been able to do yet at a variety of uh, price ranges. And it's something that a lot of the, the folks that make the notebooks are really excited about because it's the next level of games. Now, um, I, I'm going to put this as almost a direct competition. Sure. Oh, uh, a statement to you now. Uh, I spoke with NVIDIA earlier, and they said, you know, they have, I, I can't remember the name right, but they have a system on their uh, GPUs. You say you have DirectX 11, which they don't. Right. And they say, well, they can maximize the GPU so that you can actually switch between a dedicated graphics card as well as uh, have gaming on your in your laptops and increases battery life. So what would you say to that? Well, I think it's an interesting idea. It's, it's one that's been around and, and we've introduced systems in the past that you were able to have a sort of a discrete component attached to the, the uh, notebook. And I think if you keep looking for uh, the ATI Radeon brand and the notebooks, you'll see something very similar to extend that battery life. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Sure. It was uh, good to check out what you guys had here today.